Surprise, surprise, surprise. It's another match on Shoot House. And it's more Hardpoint. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, finally that shotgun match that I was promising. I told you guys I'd, I'd get a good shotgun match. And I finally got footage for some shotgun gameplay. Uh, this shotgun in particular, the Lockwood 300, I, I love this gun, dude. I really do. This is probably one of my favorite weapons in the game. Not because it's objectively good. It, objectively, it's kind of bad, actually. It's it's a two-shot. It's a ba basically a double barrel. So you, you gotta really, really think about how you play the game. And you gotta be careful, because obviously two shots. Then you got a, a decently long reload on your hands, but... I just, I love this gun, dude. I just, I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm Ash from Army of Darkness, like, running around the map with my boomstick. I just, I love it. I like the gun quite a bit. I think in this particular match, I was grinding for, like, some gold camo or something. Something stupid. This is something that I definitely ended up getting. I think I was trying to just go for gold camo on, like, every weapon in all my loadouts at this point. But, yeah, this match was... Not too sweaty, unlike the next match. This this video is going to have two matches in it. Um, I'm pretty sure I did better in this match. I, I don't think I necessarily did poorly in the second one. But the second one was definitely where the sweat-based matchmaking caught up with me. And I had to work a little bit harder for, for what I got, needless to say. But yeah... I'm not going to rant about skill-based matchmaking too much. I mean, I'll, I'm sure I'll rant about it intermittently all the time here and there. But I just think it's an abhorrent system, and I'm going to rant about it. That's that's all there is to it. But yeah, um, I want to think... Uh, I think I want to mention, like, at one point, like, the end of the, one of the previous videos, I, like, had a shitload of uh, tokens... And for the longest time, I didn't know what those did. I think they're like the double XP tokens or whatever. But they, I can't do anything with them because I don't have the battle pass. And I'm not going to get the battle pass, I don't think. I, I just... I From what I understand, the battle pass is mostly for like... You definitely can get cool stuff with it. But a lot of it seems to be skins. And I just could not give less of a fuck about skins in any game. Especially Call of Duty, dude. I just... I do not give a flying fedora what I look like in this game. I could be running around looking like Minecraft Steve, fucking Gene Shallot wearing a tuxedo and a turban. I could be Homer Simpson. I don't care. I don't fucking care. I just... It's the last thing I care about is, like, the aesthetics. I'm just here to have fun, fucking crack open a beer after work, and then bust some skulls until the skill-based matchmaking starts busting my skull. That's really... That's really all there is. But yeah, I'm popping off with this shotgun this match, dude. This was a good, good match. I had another decent match with this gun, but... Yeah, I got some wacky attachments on this thing, too. Like, there's a big old, like, silencer on the barrel, which ordinarily you would think a silencer is fucking useless in this game. But, uh, for whatever reason, this silencer gives me, like, a ginormous, uh, damage boost. And it makes my pellet spread a little bit tighter. So, yeah, pretty sweet. I, I like the shotgun a lot. It's not probably my favorite weapon. I like the um, the Vector quite a bit. Also known as the Fennec 45. Can we talk about, like, why does Call why did Call of Duty stop using real gun names? Was it, like, an issue of, like, the rights or something? I don't understand that. Because, like, Call of Duty has always been, like, you know, part of that, you know, firearm realism. And they've always used the real names of guns like the AK-47 and, and now the AK-47 is called like the Castov 762 like I, I just don't understand like it's not really like a huge complaint or a nitpick but I just don't know why they started doing that were, were gun companies just like anti Call of Duty all of a sudden I, I have no idea anyway look at me playing the shit out of this objective my guy like I'm not trying to suck my own dick, but I was on that hard point the, this whole game. I was just in the hard point. I think by the end, I, I did end up with a solid, like, two and a half minutes in the hard point. So you're welcome, team. I'm just joking. My team was really good. My, my team were, they were not glue eaters this match. And neither was I, but yeah. Dumping VTOL jets, just, you know, I, I'm actually getting kind of bodied at this point, but... Got my VTOL jet rolling, and uh, the, the enemy team is actually on the hard point for once. That's pretty sweet. Good for them. Give them a nice pat on the back. Look at the score, though. Holy shit. 
What a blowout. I tend to notice that a lot about hardpoint matches in this game, is they are always blowouts, dude. It's always one team that just fucking annihilates. Also, I just ran right past an enemy. I didn't notice that while I was playing, but sure as fuck noticed it watching the playback. Yeah, hardpoint is always a blowout. Also, I picked that guy's gun up on accident, because I was, I was trying to guard my location with the VTOL, and I ended up uh, picking up a weapon on accident. So that got me killed. That'll happen sometimes. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know what it is about hardpoint matches. I don't know if the, the skill-based matchmaking has something to do with it, or maybe if it's something to do with the spawns. I've heard a lot of people say that it's maybe spawn-related. But hardpoint is just, like, absolutely... It is, it is a fucking anomaly in Modern Warfare 2. One team always just takes the fucking cake and fucks it. And the other team is just like, eating fucking paste the whole game. They can't get five seconds in the hard point. It's so weird. I can't remember a whole lot about like, you know, prior Call of Duty games, like in terms of hard point. But were the other games like that? Because dude, I played a lot of Call of Duty 4. I played a lot of OG Modern Warfare 2. And I played a lot of Black Ops. And I don't remember the hardpoint games being this much of just a one-sided blowout every time. Like, I don't know. It's got to be something to do with the SBMM algorithm or something. Like, it's it's maybe that in tandem with the shit shitfire spawns. Also, we got a, a weird footage jump cut there, just like the first video. I don't know why that happens sometimes, but it's not a big deal. It's not like we miss anything substantial. I don't think I got any sweet kills. During that, like, 10, maybe less than 10 second loss. Uh, but yeah, hardpoint is just always weird in Modern Warfare 2. I don't know how to describe it. It just seems like one team always just fucking dominates. Like, the score is always just absurd by the end. Like, I've had games of hardpoint where, like, I think I, I lost a game where the score was, like, five. Like, we, we only scored five points in the whole game, my team. It was insane. It was just crazy. But yeah, this match was was good. We got a sweet victory out of that. And next match was skill-based matchmaking, fuck zone. Also, one thing that was great about the next match was that uh, I was using a controller that was not working properly. You're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. The controller I was using was having like some kind of analog stick issue. And I, I just could not tactical sprint. For whatever reason, I just couldn't do it. Look at that score, though, man. Two minutes and 43 seconds in the hard point. Top of the leaderboard. That's how it's done, baby. Skill-based matchmaking looked at that and said, all right, let's fuck this guy and his pussy right now. Let's get him. Let's get him, boys. Skill-based matchmaking saw that performance, and they fucking started packing bars of soap into pillowcases and just beating the shit out of me in my sleep. That's exactly what happened. Although, for playing this particular match with a fucked up controller, I, I'm pretty sure I did pretty well. We'll have to see. But yeah, I, I, I roll in and everything looks normal at first, and then I start noticing issues with my tactical sprint and all sorts of things. And um, I just kind of had to deal with it, because I didn't feel like getting up and switching controllers. But, yeah, things definitely probably would have gone better if I would have done that. But yeah. I don't exactly know why. Yeah, look, see, I'm like, what the fuck's going on with this controller? I just start mashing buttons, trying to get things to work. Yeah, I just, I don't know. That guy popped. That was just horribly unlucky. All right. But yeah. Anyway, the, S the SBMM shit um, might have had something to do with the hard point. I, I think I'm done ranting about that. Anyway, let's talk about the maps in this game. I... The, the maps in this game are getting some really, really lukewarm, just all over the place reception. I shouldn't say lukewarm, I should say polarized, that'd be a better word. But yeah, uh, people either love these maps or hate them, and I, I think I'm maybe like the only person ever who thinks they're just kind of mid. Like, I don't think they're horrible, but I also don't think that they're like the next coming of Christ FPS maps. They're good. I, they're definitely fun. Like, they've got good flow for the most part. I've got some complaints that sort of extend to, like, every single map. And there's one map in this game in particular 
if you've played the game, you already know what I'm talking about. You already know what map I'm talking about. It is this fucking Santa Senorita border crossing, whatever the fuck it's called. The stupid border crossing highway map with all the cars and shit. I will not play that map. So you will never see gameplay of that map on the channel ever. Because every time the map comes up in a lobby, I just leave the lobby. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I, I, I will not play that map. I've played the map like probably a dozen or so times throughout my my playing of this game. And it is a fucking abortion. I, I will not play that map. I won't do it. I, I just can't. I'm not the only person who hates that map. I know it's not like original to hate that map. But dude, it's just such a bad map. Santa Senya Border Crossing. Everything about the map sucks. The name sucks. It's way too many words. Which sends me on another rant. How come the names of the maps in Call of Duty suck so much dick now? Like, they're, they're such annoyingly long words. Or, you know, stringings of words. When the, the names of the maps used to be cool as fuck. Like, you used to have maps like Ambush, Package, Shipment, fucking uh, Broadcast. Dope-ass names that were just one word and they got the point across. Now you got this, like, this map here is, like, Zarqua Hydroelectric. Yeah, that flows off the fucking tongue perfectly, doesn't it? I don't know. Minor, again, minor complaint, but why do we gotta name the maps stupid shit now? Just, just give me fucking, like, I, I don't know. I'm getting lost in the weeds here. As long as the maps are fun, which, for the most part, they are. This map, uh, Zarqua Hydroelectric, I actually do like this map a lot. Uh, I have fun on this map. And it's it tends to be a good time. The only two maps that I don't like are that highway map and Tarak. And even Tarak, I'm kind of okay with that map. You know, like it's not the worst. I I could deal with Tarak. But uh, what what do you call it? Fucking Santa Senorita Lemon Pledge, whatever the fuck land. Yeah, that map can go to hell. I think they should just delete that map from the game. To be honest, I think everyone would just be happier. Nobody likes that map. Nobody. I'm convinced that they just took a picture of, like, Infinity Ward parking lot and just copy and pasted all the car textures of the cars into, like, a highway strip. And that's how they made that map. But I digress. Um, my favorite map is probably Shoot House, definitely. I know that, again, real original. So everybody loves Shoot House. Shoot House is great, though, dude. Like, it's got such great map flow. It's nice and small, so the action never stops. I just, I love Shoot House. Everyone loves Shoot House. It's fucking great. The only problem with Shoot House is that, you know, this game's got terrible spawns. And because Shoot House is a teeny tiny map, that's, that problem gets kind of exacerbated. But that's really my only complaint with that map. And, uh, it's another map. Crown Raceway. I like Crown Raceway a lot, unless I'm playing free for all. I don't know what it is. I just I feel like Crown Raceway is just not a good free for all map. I can never fucking find anybody <laughs> when I do free for alls on that. But yeah, there's oh yeah, we got a riot shield guy over here, fucking pussy. And that was the worst stun grenade I've ever thrown in my life. And I got bodied by Mr. Riot Shield. You hate to see it. You fucking hate to see the riot shield guy win. You really do. You know what though? I gotta say I don't mind fighting players with riot shields in modern warfare 2 and you know why thermite baby i used to hate riot shields dude i hated riot shield players so fucking much but then i discovered the power of thermite if you just stick them with the thermite they are dead every goddamn time forget about drill charges forget about semtex all you need is a thermite throw it at the riot shield guy and he goes up like a fireball. It's it's amazing. Dude, it's, it's to the point now where I've gone from hating the guts of Riot Shield players to actively looking forward to fighting them. I'm not even joking. I love squaring off with Riot Shield motherfuckers. Because they think that they're so, like, safe. And they're so cocky. They always approach you with this confidence. And then you just suddenly lob a fucking thermite at them. They're dead. It's so fucking fun. I love it. Ride shield players, keep doing what you're doing, baby. As long as they don't nerf the thermite and make it so that I can't just, you know, one-shot you with a ball of fire, you just keep hiding behind that shield, and I will just keep chucking my thermite right in your pussy little face. I, I, I love it. 
I love the uh, the riot shield nonsense. I myself, um, I, just, I I haven't even like done any of the riot shield challenges in this game. I, I'm sure I will at some point. Um, sometimes I pick up the riot shield off a dead player just for fun, just lug it around for a little bit. But I just I think the game would be better if there was no riot shield. <laughs> Overall, like, I think most... I, I feel like Infinity Ward would make a lot of people happy if they got rid of the Riot Shield. But like I said, me personally, man, I'm happy with my Thermite. I just... I love... I love bodying these guys with the uh, Thermite shit. I think one of my teammates just started blasting me, so that was... That was good. This match is also pretty close to over. Another victory, despite... Man, the, the, this team ended up getting bodied by a guy with a non-working controller. Look at that shit. That was nutty. Yeah, what else was I going to say? There was like definitely, definitely something else I was going to say about the maps, I think. Um, I think my only complaint really with the maps is that like... I feel like the Infinity Ward was pretty desperate to break away from the three-lane generic map design. And in doing that, they sort of made the maps a little too open, in my opinion, in certain places. Like, there's a little bit too many lanes, there's too many avenues to get shot from. Look at this building I'm going into in particular, dude. Window, door, there, there's like 16 windows and doors in that building. I didn't really show it there, but so many ways to get shot, so many directions, so many different ways to sweat. And that's just the way you gotta play the game. Yeah, down goes Mr. Riot Shield. That's the way it goes, motherfucker. But yeah, well, that was the end of that. Yeah, Riot Shield guys, are, I think, were a lot more annoying in the older games when there were less ways to counter them. Uh, I th they should still nerf it into the ground, but who cares? Anyway, before we go, you guys want to watch any of these cool videos? We got the Act Man talking about Battlefield 1. We got, uh, oh, we got Murder. We got Murder Show talking about modern warfare to or, or, yeah, i think he's just playing it yeah all right well that's the end of that video i'm gonna upload the public version of uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this obvious sekiro gameplay that i uploaded <laughs> this this was definitely sekiro that we just watched i think this feels weird dude this is a weird way to do post commentary where i upload the video straight to youtube and then i i basically do like kind of a react channel type thing with my own video while also talking about random shit so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, those two matches. Uh, I did, I, yeah. I just, I, I felt like I, I needed to do two matches in this video because that first one was so gosh darn short. Yet another hard point, hard, hard point. Yeah, that's a word. Hard point blowout. It was a hard point blowout. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the matches. I will be back for whatever the hell's in store for the next video.